Over the past week, just in time for our nation's Independence Day, we noticed a lot of hate coming from, of course, liberals and progressives against America. They just love to complain about how much America sucks, don't they? Most recently, we got to see one of our very own American pop starlets lick an unbought donut and say how much she hates the very country that made her rich and famous. She since apologized, but it was more of a fat shaming of America than it was an actual apology. Because liberal celebrity idiots. You know, she supports Hillary. Either that or uh, I think Yas means she supports Hillary or she has a speech impediment. <laughs> awesome. Hillary just got a gazillion new lobotomized LOFO voters. I think we need to buy Ariana a one-way ticket to some Middle Eastern country, y'all. Let's just pick one. <laughs> well, speaking of the Middle East, Al Jazeera and their liberal worker drones made this little gem of a video last week. You probably know that the U.S. leads the world in the most Olympic medals won, the most number of Nobel laureates, and the most billionaires. But we also lead the world in some other ways. Not to brag, but we have the most incarcerated people in the world. God bless the prison industrial complex. When it comes to obesity, we lead the global Mickey D's line. A third of us can't even see our own toes. Leading nation in cheese production? America. Specifically, probably Wisconsin. Pew pew, we've got 90 guns for 100 persons. Sorry, Yemen, we beat you in drones and guns. We make 89% of the world's porn. That makes porn as American as church on Sunday. Americans consume 80% of the world's painkillers. Makes sense though, right? I mean, racism in this country is a big pain in the ass. Other developed nations can't compete when we lead with the most number of teen pregnancies per capita. What, what? Credit card debt? Grab your All right, you know, the part of this video that's lost on these drones, um, Al Jazeera, the company whom these, these folks work for, their chairman is Sheikh Hamad bin Tamir Altani. Good job. Yeah, thanks. He's a <laughs> member of the ruling family of Qatar. You remember Qatar, don't you? I always like saying Qatar. Yeah, it's Qatar. <laughs> so we decided to mock you, Al Jazeera drones. Because you deserve it, you American ungrateful punks who can't see how absolutely hypocritical that you are. Al Jazeera employees are working for a company based in Qatar, where Sharia law is the standard. Yay! Homosexuality is considered criminal in Qatar. You're probably going to get sentenced to lashings, a prison sentence, or get kicked out of the country. What? What? In Qatar, if you have AIDS or HIV, you can't even live there. You get kicked out. How awesome is that? Yeah! Huh, in America, we treat you all compassionate like that. Totally sucks for AIDS patients. If you commit adultery in Qatar, you can get put to death. Boom shakalaka. I can't top that. I mean, in America, people just get a divorce, they take it up with their creator, and they get on with their lives. I... Because of Sharia law, a female's testimony in Qatar is worth half a man's. In some cases, it's not accepted at all because in Qatar, we're not worth anything. Yo. That whole woman's worth thing, so overrated. What's so dumb? What's so dumb? So listen, if you ever get sick of all the freedoms you have, you know, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom to live your life the way you see fit, you know. Freedom is so lame. It really is completely lame. Move to Qatar. We sure hope all these Al Jazeera <laughs> will too. And Ariana Grande can go too. Bye, Ariana. <laughs> Yeah. What a